The best exercises for getting that horseshoe shape. The tricep is made up of three heads. The long head, the lateral head, and the medial head. We're gonna call the lateral head this short head. I'm just used to calling it that. We're gonna call it that for this entire video. The two most important heads of your tricep, the two that are gonna make up your horseshoe tricep is the short head and the long head. So in this video, those are the two heads that we're gonna be covering. We will not be going over the medial head because the medial head is basically targeted throughout all of the short head movements. Anyways, the short head is the most popular head of the tricep, so we'll go over the best exercises for this one first. The first one is tricep pushdowns. You can do a variation for this one with longer D handles if you have those at your gym. If you want to use long D handles but they don't have them at your gym for whatever reason, you can always take a normal D handle and link a carabiner to it, and then you want to link your ankle strap. You got to have an ankle strap though. Link that ankle strap onto the D handle and it'll add an extension to it. This is good if you have limited equipment. I do this in my home gym all the time and it works fine. You can also do these with two ropes by simply just connecting both ropes to one carabiner. The second best exercise that I do for training my short head is dips. The third exercise that I do, this one is an absolute staple to my workout programs for training my short head is close grip bench presses. Now for the long head. A lot of people surprisingly neglect this muscle because they're too busy working on their short head thinking magically one day their long head will grow in the process. But I had to learn the hard way and maybe you do as well. That's not really how it works. Depending on your tricep insertions, you have to train your long head individually. Some people can train their long head while training their short and those people are pretty lucky. But some of us are not that lucky. I'm part of the percentage that has to program my long head individually separate from my short head. Your long head actually helps make the shape of your bicep. When you flex your bicep like this, you got your bicep up here and you can see below it is your tricep. This is your long head right here. This is gonna help make up your bicep as well. If my long head was a little bit underdeveloped, my bicep would look underdeveloped as well because I got all this down here along with up here. You hear from a lot of people that triceps make up two thirds of your bicep. Then you get all excited and you start hitting your short head. Next thing you know, you still have a small bicep, but this time only except you have a dick print on your arm. The long head is what also makes up that horseshoe shape. So we can actually maximize our bicep gains and get the horseshoe tricep at the same time. So we're gonna be killing two birds with one stone here. All because we started training our long head more and less of our short head. If your short head is underdeveloped or you don't have a short head at all, I recommend that you still train your short head and you can train it with your long head 50-50. But if you already have your short head developed, you can train your long head most of the time. So you'd wanna do more long head than short head. So lay off on the short head exercises and target the long head more. A lot of people think that they have poor tricep genetics, but it's really just because they're not training it right. So the whole time they've been just training their triceps wrong, but this is the right way. You wanna separate your long head exercises from your short head exercises. You don't wanna be working out your short head in hopes that your long head is gonna grow. Based off your muscle insertions, that probably won't work. Some people can grow their long head targeting short head movements because they have different insertions. But for me, I need to target my long head separately from my short head. So without further ado, let's get into some long head exercises. The first one on our list is tricep pushdowns with a bar reverse gripped. And then the other variation that I like to do is the long D handles. And based on my tricep insertions, I like the long D handles underhand gripped more than the tricep push down with the bar reverse grip. Next is dumbbell skull crushers, or you can do them with an easy bar. But my personal favorite is doing them with two dumbbells on an incline. And I like doing these better than the other two because I'll be hitting this muscle unilaterally with both arms. So it's a unilateral movement, but you're, you're using two arms anyways. And then the last on our list is kickbacks. This has been my staple exercise forever. I absolutely love doing kickbacks. You can program these wherever you are and there's plenty of different variations. If you're injured somewhere like your back, like I, I had back problems, so I was able to still hit these exercises even though that most of the time it's a bent over movement with my back pain, I was still able to implement this 
into my program, all you would want to do if you got back pain, you would want to do it at a chest supported kickback and that'll put less stress on your back. There's always a way to implement these into your program. If you're not doing these, there's no excuse. These are good if you have limited equipment too. You can do them unilaterally overhead without sitting on anything. You can do them standing with one dumbbell. That's really not a lot of equipment. All you need is just a dumbbell. Start doing kickbacks. So do these six exercises if your triceps are not growing. These tips really helped me out grow my triceps from absolutely nothing to something. So that's it for this video. That's three short head exercises and three long head exercises. That's gonna make you a great arm day and see how you feel. Do that arm day for tricep growth.